My name is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, The George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighbouring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like homebrew equipment. Ah, this might come in handy. Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Okay.
When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago. Did you socialise outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? What sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. She would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. Never seen it before. Which was the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And um, there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmhouse. I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Thank you. Probably be back later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh just Kate being Kate, you know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. I think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I... I don't think so. Okay. Whose is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it.
what's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only... Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Ever seen this? <laughs> Looks like, uh... That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? Mm, that's so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking. In college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about.
Aha. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um... No. No. <laughs> no not at all. So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. Always nice to randomly find a key on the floor. A broken window. Recently smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Come through. Thank you. What's it about? There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student? Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, yes? I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. You could tell she had problems. When was the last time you saw her? Friday. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. £20? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. Have you seen this before? <clears throat> no, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? No idea. Know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? Apparently. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries.
Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. How did the window get broken out round the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? No, not really. I'm quite strict when it comes to boring clients I don't think are um, suitable. OK, that's it for now. Thank you. Looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. I wonder whose mask this is. Rebecca's or Ryan's? questions, if that's okay. Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's? It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. Go on. Well, masks allow you to play it being someone different for a while. Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student? I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. So, you said Kate gave you £20 for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. Could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Not realising Kate had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. Unless she did. But why would she lie about that? Thank you. Probably be back later. <laughs> 